good morning on my way to theory to talk about theory. <laughs> I am out of class and um, let me just say I really can't stand people who don't think or who are very 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 narrow-minded because there's two guys in our class and we're discussing feminism and they just made it a huge joke and even with my professor pointing out that they were doing exactly what the theories were calling out on you know like um, pointing out all the flaws of the patriarchal system of thinking like they just couldn't listen to the fact that they were doing exactly what these articles were saying is so destructive um, and uh, it blows my mind how thick people can be um, so that doesn't make class enjoyable well the, the two of them don't make class enjoyable in the first place but even more so today so just don't be stupid <laughs> moral of the story don't be stupid um, yeah and it's going to rain today supposedly not it hasn't started yet but um, it's supposed to be like really stormy and a hundred percent chance of precipitation like I showed yesterday so we'll see how bad it gets <laughs> oh I also wanted to mention before I forget because I know I'm gonna forget I'm already forgetting things about it um, I had a dream right before I woke up my alarm actually like jolted me from the this the stream but um, my mother myself and um, my friend Sarah we were well, first it was my mother and I, and we were driving away from our house, um, and we were trying to get away, and basically we had to um, perform a kill for Dementors, but the Dementors never told us who or who to kill, how to kill them, or what to do, you know? So like, we were receiving instructions, but they never gave us real clear instructions. It was like, go here, move this gray bag to the left. Like, it was very detailed, but it never told us who to kill or how to kill. So, we eventually got to, like, a big corporate building. And then that's where Sarah joined us. And we were running and hiding from Dementors. Because you can't reason with Dementors and you can't explain, well, just tell us who to kill and we will. <laughs> so, yeah, we hid from Dementors. And, um... My mom and I were hiding um, in like a cafeteria um, when I woke up, so I don't know how it ended. <laughs> yeah, very strange. I have no idea what brought that on because I didn't watch anything Harry Potter yet. Well, I mean, I was listening to MuggleCast, but that was two days ago, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, that was my weird dream. I'm also very upset about this. My watch stopped. So the battery is dead. I was just editing uh, yesterday's vlog and I realized this vlog is day 200. That is crazy. I've been vlogging for 200 days nonstop. Wow. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do when I hit a year. I mean, I'm going to keep recording because I want to get all of the senior year in college and who knows if I'm going to vlog after college. It'd be interesting. I just don't know what I'm doing and the rain is coming I've been working on the poem for tonight and what I did is because I really did not like what I had written and it was based on a picture of Sarah um, which I it's one of my favorite pictures but I did not like what I was writing so what I did is I flipped open Dracula to a, a random page and was looking around and I found um, a section where Renfield like drops to his knees and and says you know he is slave um, Dracula is master blah 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 and that made me think of adding a second section to this poem and that's exactly what I did I've never done this before um, so there's a part one and a part two and I really really like it now really really like it so that's what I've been doing well it's after five o'clock and it still hasn't started to rain I just grabbed my dinner and now I'm waiting for class because I am totally ready let's see what the weather's like 
That's 5.45, about when I'm going to leave for class. And there's 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Yep, rain is coming. Well, that's not something you see every day. A cup in the ceiling. Now I'm headed to poetry class, which is kind of photography class. You know, meeting up with the photography class. And we're actually meeting in a different building. So it's exciting for me to go in a different direction than I do every single day. Um, it's where I had, I had a German fairy tale class and what was the other class? Oh, um, it was also German, um, women behind the camera. It was very interesting. Uh, oh, and I also had Spanish class in this building. So um, I can already smell the smell of the building and that's making the memories come back. So I love smell associated memories. Very, very strong stuff. So I'm on my way to class. I don't know if it's going, if it's going to be short or long or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fun. Freshman year. You wanna see what my room was? Dun, dun, dun. It was the window that protrudes. That was my room. And there is the beautiful Stetson Fountain. That was relatively painless. Um, we got out about 7:15, 7:10, something like that. And um, all we really did is we like ex like. Um, the photographers wrote their names on slip of papers and put them in a bowl and then the poets drew the names and We went down the lines and I was actually the first one to go So I said the name I picked she got up uh, Showed her photographs and then I got up read my poem and then I gave my poem to her and now I just have to go back and look at her photos and try to think of ideas and then um we are going to perform, I guess you would use the word perform. Um, the poets are going to read their poems inspired by the photos and the photographers are going to show their photos inspired by the poems on November 3rd at Poetry at an Uncouth Hour. So it's pretty exciting. Um, I've never really done a collaboration like this and I already like it. Um, but like I said, I have to go back and look at this girl's photos again because I really can't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's exciting. Now I get to eat and I'm out early. Like, this is crazy. Oh well. I am slowly making my way through um, Tom Stoppard's Arcadia. I am in Act 2, so Scene 5. A little over halfway done, sort of. Let's see. I've got this much. So yeah, a little over halfway done. Um, it's good, it's just dense, because that's what Stoppard is. He throws everything he could possibly fit into the play and more. Um, so I'm going to finish reading this. I'm going to finish writing my fiction piece. If I don't finish tonight, it's okay, because it's due tomorrow night. But I'm going to work on it a little bit more. <sighs> and that's about it for me tonight. So I am swamped with words and stuff. I have to read a lot of words and I have to write a lot of words. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's it for me because I have to delve back into the words. So, <laughs> good night. <laughs>